Yeah, no, we were, Steve. I mean, we had to respond as a footy club after last week's performance. You know, we got our colours lowered, but um, the attitude during the week by the playing group um, and the way they attacked the game for four quarters today was is the blueprint that we need to be moving more consistently and going forward with. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those things that, yeah, you'd like to hit the scoreboard and put some more um, pressure on them. But, you know, I felt like we were in control of the game most of the night. No, I wasn't frustrated. It was more uh, more about we should have got more reward for the effort that we, you know, put forward. Oh, not sure, Tommy. Probably. Yeah, it was probably the best four-quarter performance that we've had for the year. Um, but as I said, you know, last week compared to this, this week was two different um, standards. So we're still a young group. We're on a bit of a journey and we understand that. But that's a great blueprint and a great, uh, I guess, uh, picture of what where we want to get to. Yeah, well, uh, I'm not sure about credibility, but what it does is actually hopefully gives them more belief in the game plan and the game style and, and how we want to go about it. So there's a lot of young guys running around there tonight that have only played a handful of games, which is exciting for our footy club. And, you know, the 50,000 supporters that came and supported us tonight saw a, a group that's going to play a lot of footy together. Oh, well, I think just our attitude to pressure Richmond when they got the ball with number one and then obviously our tackle, you know, to only have 37 last week compared to 70-odd this week puts massive pressure on the opposition. So that doesn't matter who you play. If you come with that attitude um, and that sort of pressure, you're going to make teams, you know, I guess put them under more pressure with their ball use. It's been a tough month. Yeah, no, look, he's sort of been teetering around um, Tex. He's, you know, he's hit the scoreboard most times, but his, you know, accuracy obviously is something that we need to keep chipping away at, as well as everyone else in the footy club. So we're working really hard on it. Um, we understand that potentially it can cost you games going forward, but, um, you know, to get the result was pleasing. Oh, I'm not sure. As, you know, we've still got four games to go, so there's a lot of wins and losses between now and then for us and other teams. So I've said all along, we've got to earn the right to get there. So we've got to win the next three or four games to guarantee ourselves a spot there, and that's what we'll be focusing on. Yeah, but, I mean, I'm a small part. Like, the playing group are the one that execute on game day and I couldn't be any more proud of their effort and the way they responded tonight, the whole 22 of them. So um, that was a pleasing thing. It was a really good team performance by all of them. Uh, no, not really. No, as I said... In these circumstances, we've all got to step up and I guess I'm just doing my bit. And as I said to the playing group, we're going to leave no stone unturned to make sure that we can finish off the year the way that we should. Yeah, look, this is a proud group and I've been around here for five years and they've responded all the time when they've been challenged. There's a great core group of leaders at this footy club and the younger guys are falling in behind them. So they were disappointed last week and so they should be uh, with what happened. But that's the great resilience of this group. They've been through a lot and to put a performance up tonight was really pleasing. Put one through the middles.
Yeah, well, they're both quality kids. I mean, Matty, his performance tonight was was great. You know, he, he was he went back to the SNFL. He had some things to work on. He's a great kid. He's a tough kid. That's what we love about him. He understood why um, he needed to go back and work on. I think he's going to be a 10-year, 200-game player of this footy club. So his performance tonight was outstanding. To bring Rory Atkins in, he's deserved his spot. Um, he's fought hard to get in there, and he does. He gives us something different. And you saw tonight just some composure, just the way he uses the ball, and he's got a nice step as well. So um, it's really exciting for our footy club with those young guys playing against a, a finals team that they were exposed to that tonight. Thanks, guys.